Jessica from Peace Love Books and today I'm here with my bookshelf tour, my library tour. I am in my library right now and I am ready to show you all of my shelves. I'm very excited for this. I haven't done this in a very long time because it intimidates me. I am a little nervous showing you everything because it's going to take a long time and I am not someone who's going to show you every single book on my shelves. I own a thousand historical romances alone and those are all over there in two cases and I have six cases in my library. They are double stacked. The historicals are triple stacked so I cannot show you every single book one by one. We would be here for literally like two hours and I don't have time to edit that. I don't want to. So I'm just going to show you my library. I showed you a little tour already in the beginning and I have a lot to get to so I'm very excited to show you guys my library. I don't have the best lighting in my library. As you guys saw I just have one window right here so I oftentimes have you another light and then it gets kind of dark in the background because this area gets the least amount of light so hopefully the lighting is on my side today. We'll see how it goes but I've had these shelves for seven years. I bought these in 2015 and they are from Walmart. They might look familiar because Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers has the same ones. We both got them from Walmart. What I love about them is they have these lines here. They're like cubed so they don't warp as easily. Some of mine have started warping especially with how much I have on them now but they've held up for seven years. If I have a lot of hardbacks on a shelf they start warping but they've lasted seven years. I do not plan on replacing them anytime soon. I love them. They have so much room. I knew I wanted white shelves because my walls are pink. I have had my library here for four years so they were in my apartment for three years and then I moved them here and they have survived and they are amazing. I don't know if they're still available. I know I got them when they were like $50 each and then they went up to like $100 each but I love them. I also also have a small shelf which I'll show you from Target and then I have some book carts and yeah I can link everything down below if you want them. I do want to preface this video by saying owning this amount of books is not normal. I have been collecting books since I was young but most of these I have been collecting since 2015 so this is seven years in the making and in 2020 I became obsessed with historical romances and so my historical romance collection has exploded as well. I do love the messy look of bookshelves so they aren't like pristine. They have tons of knickknacks on them if you can tell. I have a lot of Funko Pops. I have a lot of candles. I have a lot of mugs. I can show you some of my favorites as I go along and I will show you some of my favorite books that I own as well. This is the background you guys normally see see I do have this whole side of my library too that you never see which maybe I will change up now that I have box lights so I don't use natural lighting anymore to film I can change up where I film but that's basically it I do live with my sister we own a house together so that's why I have all this space and I think that's all the questions people would have for me. I do go through my shelves twice a year and clean them and dust them and then kind of purge books I don't want anymore so yeah that's all I have for you but I will go ahead and get into this tour and just show you my library. We are going to start over here. This is closest to my door. This is the side you never see. Okay so up here are my, I can move my drink over here. These are my beloved YA books. I do have two mugs full of bookmarks. I used to have the one. Now I had to go into two but these are YA books that I absolutely love. I was obsessed with these Simon Pulse romantic comedies for a while so I collected them in high school and I love having them here and I have some Katie McGarry, the Mediator series, those Simon Pulse romantic comedies. We have also a bunch of Harper Teen books and they are literally, I was obsessed with them. I would go to the library and look for those spots and I loved having them. I do have my photo of all of us from our retreat in Atlanta right there. That frame I did get from Home Goods. So, and then I have my mug from Brittany. She got me a Happiness Begins mug for Jonas Brothers, which my mic sits in there. Coming down into the books, there's nothing too exciting here. I do love Simone Alcalez. I'm gonna sneak in here because I do want to show you. These were my absolute like trash in high school. I absolutely love these. They're the Perfect Chemistry series by Simone Alcalez. I also really love the Abby Glyne series. I've reread it recently and I don't love it, but the Dairy Queen books as well by Katherine Murdoch were amazing. My favorites. This does bother me. I have volume three here and I have the rest down here because I couldn't fit and I haven't rearranged it. But these are just all contemporary YA. These are all more fantasy based YA. Yeah, not too exciting. Nothing like super, super favorite down here. So excuse my cord. This is literally where I plug everything in because all of my outlets are behind my shelves. But I have my Heartstoppers 1, 2, and 4 here. So I want to get 3 and put it in there somehow. Moving some of my Lisa. So my Lisa collection, I also have like the really sought after ones. Like 
I don't know where I want to put this, so it's just sitting in a stack on the bottom of my YA shelf. I don't know what I want to do with these, but I do have all of these. I have all of my Jenny Han books. I've got more fantasy. I try to split it up by genre. That's really how my shelves are, are separated. So just more here and here. Nothing really exciting. Like I don't care about my YA. That's why they are now condensed in this tiny, tiny shelf that I have. So these are my historical romance shelves and they are my favorite to look at. I really love them. And then going all the way up, I'll show you up there. Those are my Joanna Lindsay up there too, but I have so many historicals now. These are all triple stacked. I'm not going to pull any out because I cannot have the time to show you everything, but it's so pretty and I love looking at these shelves and it goes like all the way over there too. And then some YAs behind there, but yep, historicals. These are my Joanna Lindsay. I do have some Star Wars Funko Pops up there, but these are all my Joanna Lindsay that I have. I have a couple that are on my TPR shelf, but I love having her books up here. I did get, hopefully you can hear me because this is way higher and taller than I am, but I got a huge lot on eBay of her books for a really good price, so I have a lot of the original covers and original setbacks. Alright, moving into here. So the annoying thing about these darn bigger books is that they're so much taller and they stick out. So these are like the new ones that they're getting rid of. They're really annoying, but I do love my steamy, hot and steamy mug that I got from, I think that was Fugly Barbie. It does say I like my coffee like I like my romance novels hot and steamy I don't drink coffee but I really like the mug so I got it I do have some of my favorite Funko Pops on here too which are my Joey from Friends and my little baby Hercules my Beverly Jenkins collection is here I don't put anything in front of it because I'm obsessed with it though I have put some new ones here but everything else I'm like please show Queen Bev I love her over here we have Lorraine Heath my favorite Lorraine Heath we got some Beauty and the Beast stuff I'll go over there for the rest of there in a second. And so then down here, we are getting into other authors. I put my favorite authors towards the front and other ones towards the back. So this again, we have like the bigger mass market, the mass max market. So this like doesn't have anywhere to sit well. So it kind of just like sits crooked. But this one also says copy and step backs, which I really like. But there's no good way to put it. But we have Diana Quincy, who I love. We have my Eloisa James. We have some classics here. A lot of my Julie Garwoods are actually behind here as well. And again, I'm going to say this every time, but like, look how it just sticks out. Those were the mass market, mass max size. Then we have some Sarah McLean. And we're going to come down. So here we have another mug that's historical romance. We do have Elizabeth Hoyt, who I really love. And some old school, tons of Cat Martin I do need to read more of. And then that Dead Serious mug over here is definitely one of my favorites. So that sits there. Kerrigan Burns are all behind there as well. So these are just ones that I really enjoy. We have more. I have all my Julia Quinn over there. I have that little angel with books that I've had since I was a child. That's actually my sister's and has little cats on the bottom. It's really cute. Um, but more of just older historicals that I have over here. This is one of the first historicals that I ever actually read. It's A Hint of Wicked by Jennifer Haymore. And um, I found it randomly at Half Race Books. I was reading the back and I was like, that is literally my first one. Because I remember his name was Tristan and he was her husband's best friend. So... Her husband dies, she gets together with the best friend, and then her husband's not actually dead and comes back. So, super angsty. You wonder why I love angst. I do have a lot of the original Julia Quinn covers. So, of course, like, I have step backs of the Viscount Who Loved Me. All those original step backs. And I also have original copies of her other books. This one's not a first edition. It does not have raised text, but it is one of the earlier copies of this cover as well. This is a first edition of this cover. I love it. I could literally do a whole video if you want on my historical romance collection. Let me know showing you like all of my favorite favorites. So then we're going to come down here. These historicals, these are all of my like super old school historicals. So we have these really, really pretty I really love that one. We have uh, my book club pick, which I have sitting here because it's for my book club. I'm going to set that on my chair. I put my stuff on my chair that I need to get to soon. But we have lots of Virginia Henley. We have Catherine Coulter. And then all of my Kathleen Woodowis over here. So we've got the amazing. I do have two copies of Shanna, but we have Shanna. We have, we have a Lindsay Sands. We have Forever in Your Embrace. So lots of, oh, and then I do have some old school Hannah Howe back there. You can't really see that, but yep. 
Then, this is where some, like, new ones get put because I had nowhere else to put them, so we do have Anna Harrington. We have, what, Gina Conkle, more Anna Harrington. They get kind of stuck there because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. But then, when we get over here, it's hard to show you because it is behind my chair. So, over here, we have historicals I need to shelve. So, those five I need to scan into my Book Buddy app. And then, the basket over here are all the books that I need to include in my wrap-up. So, those are over there. We have more... YA kind of mixed in with historicals. They just sit over there. More YA mixed with historicals. That's really <laughs> all these are. Over here we have some, what is that, Lee Bardugo and um, Lainey Taylor. Haven't really read a lot of those, but I would like to at some point, and I do like to get Halloween decorations for Michaels, so that's what that little dragon skull thing is. And then more historical romances. Over here, we have lots of Megan McKinney. And then more old schools here. So we have like Katherine Anderson. Oh, I do have my Disney snow globes that my sister and I had. We have Belle and Cinderella. Those were in our bedroom at home and I have them here now. So we have all of these. These are where now I get more into historical romances. So like I showed you my Lorraine Heath shelf and then I do have lots of Sophie Jordan over here. I have some mugs. I have my Disney Funko Pops here. So that's that shelf. And then up here we have my Sergey Mass and a couple Brandon Sanderson and Twilight. So those are all my original editions. I do have a signed arc of A Court of Thorns and Roses up there. Those are my original copies of all of those series. Yeah, I do have a second one to House of Earth and Blood. It's just on my TBR pile right now. That is this side of the room. That is the side you literally never see. So that... That's what that looks like. It's a big hot mess. It looks like a used bookstore because they are all my historicals. This poster over here I did get for free at I think ALA and I framed it and put it up here. I have like 10 different blankets that I get from book boxes on my chair and I also have a TBR pile that I keep on there. And then over here is a little bit of a hot mess corner but I like to say it's an organized mess. So these, this is my book cart where I put to be read books. So we have lots of historicals on here. Over here, like I really need to get to The Gift by Julie Garwood. And then Sylvie Summerfield is definitely an author I want to read soon. I put a lot of old school historicals up here that I want to get to at some point. Lots of pirate stuff or covers that I'm just obsessed with. So I do have this, a bunch of, a uh, couple of Joanna Lindsay up here too. So those are ones that I would love to get to soon. And I did do a like chapter vlog for some of these, try chapter, and then I never actually finished reading them. So those are all of my... Old school historicals I want to get to soon, definitely on that shelf. We do have these two bottom shelves as well. I do stick some swag that I get from swag bags just in here. So I remember when I had to go take a picture for Instagram that they're here. Oh, I have a magnet in here that's sticking to this. So this was sent me from Lenore Bell. Her book is out in my TBR uh, bookcase in my other room, which you will, if you are a member of my channel, you've already seen that bookshelf. But these are also all just mass markets that I've gotten from publishers. So I haven't read these yet. A lot of them are years old. I have my crown that Samantha from Book so Samantha got me, which is super cute. Some Christmas romances I have up here that I need to get to, and then also more that have been sent to me from the publisher, or I got these all from eBay that I want to, I didn't know what to do with them. I want to read them at some point. They are like the YA historicals that Avon did with some of my favorite authors, so like Lorraine Heath, and then... Do I have Beverly Jenkins? I don't know if I have Beverly Jenkins, but these were all ones that I really wanted to read. Oh yeah, we do have Meg Cabot had one, which was really cool. Meg Cabot actually had a pen name. I've, it's blanking right now, but she ha does have a historical pen name. Oh, do I have two? No, I don't have two. Oh, Lorraine Heath wrote two different ones. That's right, each author wrote two. And then I have stuff in the back, back here that authors have sent me that are on my TBR to get to at some point. I do, I hate this corner so much. So I do have in this corner, like, you can't see it. I have a shelf back here that I really don't care about that has, like, thrillers and, like, Stephen King and stuff, and then a bunch of Book of the Month thrillers that I would like to get to at some point, but they just kind of stay hidden back there because I don't really, really care about them. Should I not say that I don't care about some of my books? Down here are some fantasy books. I do have fantasy books I need to shelve as well, and then I have my Chris and Becca books, Chris and Becca Ritchie, and then my Sergio Mass. So the Chris and Becca Ritchie books don't fit on my Chris and Becca Ritchie shelf. I need to figure out what I want to do with them. But I do have a bunch of fantasy over here that I kind of bought in 2020 when I was kind of getting into fantasy. Haven't really touched a lot of those except for like Daniel Jensen 
all the rest of those just kind of sit over there but I do set these over here and like I have a book box here that I need to unpack and then this book box here that I just got that is the kickstart for Katie Robert so and then my present from my friend Brittany sitting there so I just put boxes over here that need to be unboxed I also have a bunch of mass market paranormal and fantasy romances that are sitting here I always turn to this shelf in the fall when I want that. I don't really feel like reading these now, so I never touch this currently. These are triple stacked, and then I have some fantasy on the right, like a Maid of Boucher and Millivane. I didn't have a lot of space for YA, so that kind of went there. And then we have more fantasy over here. This is where we're kind of going from fantasy, sprinkling into my contemporary shelves. I think I have three full cases of just contemporary, dark, small town, just anything that is contemporary romance. So we do have my Pam Godwin books here. I did recently move those. I had a huge book haul that went up earlier this week, so rearranged some of these. I do have my JLA books there, and the <laughs> I have Kieran here that I got in one of her book boxes. He's super cute. So then moving on up. Here I have some mass markets that I recently just moved up there on the left. Those are just some of my favorites I've collected over the years and some I have to get to like Beverly Jenkins. I have traditionally published romances and then more fantasy. This is really the last of my fantasy section and then more traditionally published romances that I've moved over here. Up here we have my Kennedy Ryan section bleeding into my Gianna Darling. Gianna takes up an entire cube. I love her but I have so many of her books. I do have the last of my YA over there. And yeah, some of my favorite Kennedy Ryan books are over there. I will show you. I have to do this one-handed because my tripod doesn't go up this high. I do have my absolute favorite cover of one of my favorite books of all time, which is Ink Demise, which is gorgeous. Up here are all mass markets. So these are mass markets that I've collected over the years. Well, some indie romances, but lots of mass markets that I've gotten from Berkeley when I started vlogging. And all up here are all just more... Those are all over there. I do, I forgot to show you, I have these that I made. I made them in PowerPoint. They're all from different books. I've had them since I started my library. So those are all those. We have Jane Eyre, Outlander, and then Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. This is probably my absolute favorite section of my shelves. I do have my Mummy Punk Funko Pops up there, which are my absolute favorite. I have my Penelope Douglas collection. I do have all my special editions there from Mystic Box as well. I know that this is like literally the most sought after one that there is. Oh no, she fell over again. She falls over all the time. But I do have also my special edition Credence and those mummy characters. And then we have my Gianna shells, which bled over into there. But these have all of her books. And I do have a couple duplicates, like I have two of After the Fall. I have duplicates of the Fall and Men series behind it as well. And then I do have this candle that Hello Lovely, I don't know when they're releasing it, but aha, uh -huh, there we go. Okay, so this one is the candle for, um, I think it's Bia's podcast from Dead Man Walking. So Little Miss Murder, yeah. I love this candle, so it goes with all of my Gianna Darling books. These are all of her female editions, so her female hardcovers. Of course, I have all of those and other books behind them, but my favorites go up front. So we have Penelope and Gianna. We have lots of Funko Pops here. I have a lot of my Harry Potter ones that I've had for years, and then I have Disney. I have Hamilton. This one over here is newly added. I did not have all of these Elizabeth Rourke before, but I moved her to have her own section, and I have my favorite. This is the Hello Lovely special edition of Waking Olivia and all of her books. I got a bunch for my birthday, so those are all over there. I do have these Callie Reed, Emma Scott. My Jennifer Hartman collection is over there as well, which I love. And then I have some KK Allen. I have Mafia Mistress and Mafia Darling over here. So obviously I've got those two hanging out there. And like I said, these are double stacked. I have books stacked behind these books. They're ones that aren't as important to me, so they get to go behind. I still want to keep them, though. People ask me, well, why do you have not important books in your collection? Because I do. Because I want them. So I do have a lot of different um, Game of Thrones guys. So I have him there. I was getting them while I was watching Game of Thrones, so you see at the bottom, too, I have some. I do have my Tilly Cole collection. I have my Mystic Box Special Editions, which are gorgeous. I do love me. My Mystic Box covers. I love them. I do have, this is my Kristen Becker Ritchie shelf, which is also my QB Tyler shelf, which is also other authors, but completely behind there, if you see back there, are all my Kristen Becker books, and then they come up into here. I do have BB Reed, Rebecca Weatherspoon, all my QB Tylers, I have BB Easton, all my gorgeous QB Tyler books, 
We have a hardback that she sent me of her new one. We have my special edition of Forget Me Not, which is one of my favorites. This one's from Belle, book box. But I love QB, so of course she gets like front and center part of my shelves. Love her. Then when we go lower, this is my uh, small town romance section basically. So I do have my mug that I got from Christina C. Jones that I ordered, which is super, super pretty. Her books are down here, but I ran out of space for my mug. I have some Nicole Fiorna with these books. I love her books, they're super pretty. And I have mass markets behind here. This is recently adjusted as well to make room. All of my beautiful Catherine Cowles books. This one's on top because I just recently did a TikTok with this one. But I have these all super pretty. I love them so much. All of her books are here. I'll probably have to make more room for hers because I need them. These are always, I'm going to show you. These are always behind me in my videos. We have the rake I'd like to F. And then we also, they all came with prints when I ordered them because they're all signed. And then we have the Duke I'd like to have. They are historical romance anthologies. These are over here though because they are bigger. So that's why I keep them on this shelf. So if you ever wondered, that's what they are. And then of course I have Devney Perry, Will and Ash, Devney Perry. I love her. I need more room for her books because I have her books other places as well. Most authors kind of stay in the same area. If you can't tell, I have authors basically just wherever I want to put them. And sometimes they are based on genre, sometimes they're not. Over here, we just have some random books as well. Oh, my battery's flashing. I might have to finish this later. So we have just a bunch of Mystic Box books and then random books. This shelf isn't anything special, just special editions down here. Moving over, we do, we're just gonna go until my camera dies and finish up when I can charge. So we have my entire Sophie Lark collection down here. I had, these were all up top and they were warping a shelf. So they are down here and we do have my special edition of Stolen Air that I recently got at a signing, which I love. And we're moving over here with Winifred with her lovely uh, green fingers. We have a bunch of Sierra Simone over there. We do have this mug that is actually for Sea of Ruin, which I really love, but I don't like the shop. They kind of scam people, so don't ask me where I got it, but it's my Sea of Ruin mug. I have... All of my TJ Klune on the right with another mug. Anna Huang, Sierra Simone, all the good stuff. So I recently adjusted where my dark romance was. So I used to have all my dark romance really in a corner by itself, but I was running out of space. So all my JT Geisinger is over here. I have Mariana Zapata, more Game of Thrones people. My candy signer section got a little uh, crowded, so I had to move some down as well. And those are a little out of order because I pull from here a lot. I pull from these a lot. So I have my Devney, some candy, more Devney, Emily McIntyre. So those are all, all around there. All right, then we have one of my absolute, two of my favorite fun Funko Pops. We have uh, Cap with the beard. I love him so much. He's a bobblehead. And then I do have my John McClane, who is from Die Hard. He is also my favorite, so he's up here. These are some new books I got. I got the H.G. Carlton for my birthday. I do have my entire Candy Steiner collection. Oh, and we have Steve from Stranger Things Season 2. He is my favorite, so of course I had to get him in his Ahoy costume. So these are all also romances, obviously. Mostly contemporary, some dark, but those are all those. We have my fairy tale reading. Please excuse Ed Sheeran. I've dropped him many, many times and his glasses finally snapped. So that's a little sad, but I have Pooh reading, Cinderella reading and Belle reading. Then I have some of my special edition Jessica Hawkins. This shelf was super warped, if you can't tell, because I have my Black Jagger Brotherhood collection up here. We do have my beloved copy of book one that is special edition. This is super hard to find. I had a lovely, lovely subscriber send me her extras of these. They are impossible to find, but they are signed now to me. And I'm so, so thankful I have them. I think I'm missing just a couple. I have to get them. And then I do have special editions of my Something in the Way series by Jessica Hawkins, whom I love. And then her original Violent Delights covers and poor Ed without his glasses on. But then we have all of those. So this was getting a little heavy, so you can see it's a little crooked of the shelf, but that's okay. I had my Sophie Larks up here, had to move them. And then we're going into many more mass market the end of my jr ward collection and then up here was where i had most of my dark romances on the left used to only be my colin hoover and i wanted to keep it my colin hoover collection but i ran out of space on the right so 
that is what had to happen. We have a few Funko Pops as well. A few candles for Colleen Hoover from another company that scammed people out of money, so don't recommend. Lots of MC Mafia on the right. I have special editions of my Outlander books. And then if you know who this guy is, it is Turbo Man from Jingle All The Way. My mom's favorite Christmas movie. We watch it every year. I have more Sophie Lark up here because my collection of her is way too big. And then I do have my special editions of Outlander. I have four of them now and I love them. And the most recent one I got was book four, which is super, super pretty. I got this for Christmas and I do have, I don't know if I'll read it because the show was really bad, but I have Clan Lands, which is uh, Jamie's book and that other guy. I do have my Jamie Funko Pop. I never got Claire, but I wish I did because you can't get these anymore. He's super cute. And then candles I have. This is my really pretty special edition of The Flame and the Flower by Kathleen Wodowitz. It's like a special hardback. I found it at Half Price Books. It's really pretty. All right, and then moving down, we have classics. Like over here on the right is very boring. We have just classics all down here. But I do have my special editions of The Duke and I here and The Viscount Who Loved Me here, which I got from Walmart and Target. I do have this too. I don't remember what box I got this from, but they had... All right, I've charged for about 20 minutes, so hopefully we are good to go. I do have my Funko Pop of Danny from Greece. These are just like all of my favorite people that I get Funko Pops of. Look how cute he is. And then I think I showed you... Did I show this to you yet? No Tomorrow by Karen Cole, my special edition. Very pretty. And then I have all my Macaulay Smeltzer. I did take these out for a video, so my Lucy score should go on top of all those. So then I have some not as exciting stuff, except for I do, these are exciting. I do have my, I have all my Beverly Jenkins in hardback. I do have my stunning Beverly Jenkins hardbacks, and then I have a couple more, and they are here. You can see, I do have some Julia Quinn hardbacks back here as well of the series. I think I have six of them. I need two more, but I don't know if I'll get those. I need book one, which is impossible to find, but these are some hardback historicals that I keep back here. Random books, classics, nothing really exciting over here. At the bottom are also kind of excess books, so we do have classics, and then we have over here just random stuff. We have some dark romances, some historicals, and some random hardbacks. So those are my shelves. This is where I put books that I haul, so I did recently get a Corinne Michaels and Emma Chase. Those are over there. I do have a bunch of Harlequins sitting over here. I'll get to those when I feel like it. Then more books that I have for review or to give away. So like Malice Mafia I have to give away, Tight Ends and TRs I have to give away, and then random stuff for review. In that corner are like bookstagram props and stuff like that. And so then I have a lamp that's always in the background of my videos. And then I have my Lisa collection. I do have my Funkos from The Greatest Showman on my Lisa books. They are kind of color coordinated but I ran out of room, so I don't know if I want to put even more on here or just move around. I do have a Mr. Darcy over there. Oh, those are my Lounge Five backpacks in the background. And then I do have a bunch of thrillers up here. So this is my thriller section. I don't know how much longer I'll keep this. I don't really read a ton of thrillers. I might put some in my classroom and because once I'm done reading them, I don't reread them and I don't use them for videos and stuff. So I don't really have any reason to keep them. But these two are also from Ikea, these two shelves. That didn't take me a very long time. I'm getting a little sweaty. I gotta put my hair up. But those are my shelves. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want a more in-depth close-up look at anything. Especially if you want like a historical romance 
tour and I will pull out like all of my favorites and show you like everything in there. Oh my gosh. I could not remember where my Lenora Bell books were, but I just found them. So the only bad thing about double stacking is I do sometimes forget what's behind and I have to like go searching for things, but I typically remember where everything is, especially because it is generally by genre and I know where I put certain authors, but I have to double stack because I have too many books. So I did recently do a big book haul where I had to put a lot of books away and I rearranged a lot. So that's how my bookshelves are. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Let me know if you enjoyed this. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.